The latest update to Chrome for Android adds a highly requested feature to the popular web browser from Google. Incognito mode is a feature meant for when you do not want Chrome to remember your activity while you are browsing the internet. With this feature enabled, the app will not save your browsing history, cookies, site data, or the information that you enter into forums. But, by default, this feature does not protect your browsing sessions from anyone who has access to your smartphone. So with the latest update to the stable version of Google Chrome, version 105, this application now allows you to enable a hidden new feature that adds another layer of protection to your incognito tabs. So with how things are set up today, if you go and create a new incognito tab and you search the web or browse the web in that incognito tab, when you minimize Chrome and then open it back up, you are given access to that incognito tab. This browsing session is still access available to anyone who has access to your device. So you could just open up the application again and see whatever you are doing in that incognito tab. There aren't any protections built into your incognito tabs by default. However, with this new update to version 105, again in the stable build, we have access to a new feature. This is a hidden feature, so we're going to need to view the experiments page in Chrome, which you can access by typing out, by going in the address bar and typing out Chrome colon forward slash forward slash flags. Now once you are here, you can search for incognito. And one of the options that you see filtered is going to be labeled enable device reauthentication for incognito. So we're going to tap on this drop down menu, select enabled. And then at the bottom right, you're going to see a blue relaunch button. Go ahead and tap on that relaunch button and that will close Google Chrome and open it back up for you. Once this feature has been enabled, as long as we have the lock screen authentication set up on our phone, you're now going to see a new feature in the privacy and security section of the app's settings. So after that feature has been enabled, let's dive into the settings, look for the privacy and security option, and right here between always use secure connections and access payment methods, you're gonna see a new option with a toggle. The option is labeled lock incognito tabs when you leave Chrome. So once we enable that, it's going to ask you to verify that it is actually you who owns this device. And once that option has been enabled, your incognito tabs are now going to be a little more protected. So you saw before how we could just minimize Chrome and access that browsing session. Let's go ahead and open up another incognito tab. We'll do another test. And now this time, whenever we minimize Chrome and open it back up, it's not going to let you view that incognito tab until you unlock incognito. And you can access your other tabs just fine, but it's the incognito tabs that are going to be locked. And you are going to need to verify that it is you before you have access to that tab again. You always have the option of going back into the settings, 
going back into the privacy and security section and disabling this feature if you want. But you could also just do this from the experiments tab as well. You can disable this feature directly from the experiments tab if you do not want this feature enabled anymore. The ability to protect your incognito tabs has been a highly requested feature over the years and it's great to see Google finally starting to flesh it out for the community. Especially since Chrome for iOS has had a similar feature called privacy screen for a few years now. It does suck that this feature on Android is still hidden behind an, the experimental flags page, but after some bug testing by the community, we should see it added to the settings by default in a future update.